I started my own landscaping business in 2002 when I was in high school. And I was always entrepreneurial and wanted to work for myself. So I did that for 12 years and really killed myself. Found an opportunity in corporate America with an outside sales job, selling office equipment, so copiers, printers, and did that for six years and was making good money compared to what I was used to making, working for myself. Corporate structure wasn't for me. So when I met with Greg Jelano back in 2016, he explained this opportunity to me and I entertained it and talked to our RSM and was really attracted with the business model. And so it sounds like what was important to you was you wanted to be with people. You recognized you had some sales skills. You wanted to take your entrepreneurial skills and leverage. Did I get that right? Absolutely. Yes. I didn't want anybody looking over my shoulder. So you found what you were looking for? I did. It was more than what I was looking for. And I, would, I never thought I would find it in this industry. I had friends that were captive agents and always wondered how they made money. I didn't know the significance of the industry until I really explored it. The Medicare piece, I think, that we do here at ASB is very attractive from a relationship building perspective with clients, but also the renewal aspect that we can generate in our practices. What's the most rewarding part of the career, Joe? Helping people ease their minds. They come to us and they're so scared because they want to retire and they're excited about retirement, but there's this big unknown. Medicare is usually very scary for them. Being on a fixed income is very scary for them. They don't know what it's going to look like. A lot of them have anxiety. And when they leave the office, shaking your hand multiple times or giving you a hug, or some people even cry because they didn't know that they could actually retire with confidence. We show them how that's possible. It's a big relief for them. So you're holding their hand while they're opening up that worry box and you're getting rid of it. It's awesome. Yeah, it's very rewarding. And we get compensated along the way and <laughs> it's a win-win. Sure. Yeah. So we talked about what the most rewarding part is. What is the most challenging part? Most challenging? Definitely in the beginning was very challenging. You know, that requires a leap of faith. And once you're in the business and you have friends and counterparts that are top producers, I would say another challenging piece is keeping up with them. And you don't want to always compare yourself to other people, but uh, you, you want to use other agent successes to, pr to push yourself to do better. So sure. it's definitely challenging. And I, I would say time management has always been a personal struggle for me, prioritizing my calendar, because there's so many things that we can get bogged down with in busy work. Time management is definitely one that I continue to struggle with. Sure. Thanks for that. Joining American Senior Benefits, I'm sure you came into it with some personal and professional goals. How did they help you? Yeah, they all pretty much come to fruition and it's just been a tremendous blessing. So professionally, I, I had an income goal that I wanted to be at and have exceeded that with ASB. So that's extremely rewarding. On top of all the time freedom that we talked about. <clears throat> sure. So professionally, yeah, of course, income, time freedom. Personally, the time freedom spills over into having a flexible schedule, having more time to spend with my kids. When I first got into the business, my son was just born. Now we're about to have our third child. Being able to be around when I need to be. I'm working late when I have to. I coach my son's hockey team, which is three to four nights a week. So I don't know if I'd be able to have that flexibility if I was in corporate America still. Yeah. So, yeah. So if you could go back in time, give yourself some Monday morning quarterbacking or coaching in the early days when you first started as an agent, 
what would you tell younger Joe? Just keep doing what you're doing. You have to always be doing something. You're, if you are frustrated and you're doing nothing, that's the worst thing that you could be doing. So always do something. If you have nobody to call your clients, check in on your clients because they're going to appreciate your phone call. They know you, you've done right by them. They're going to build confidence for you. And then when you go out and prospect again, you'll have more confidence in your voice and, um, and you'll start to drum something up again. And even if you have nobody to call, study something in the industry, whether it's how to prospect better, how to be a better communicator, how to get referrals, always try to improve yourself, if nothing else. Yeah. Good stuff. So if you were looking to bring somebody else on to work with you and your team, what character traits do you think really help make a great insurance agent? Someone, someone that's organized, someone that believes in themselves, that has confidence, someone that's not afraid to work, someone that doesn't need to be told when to work. Mm -hmm. But if you're coachable, if you can follow a system, if you can pick up the phone, then you're most likely going to be a great agent here. I find that when you're willing to take a chance and get out of your comfort zone, that's the biggest thing. A lot of people don't stretch themselves or don't take on a career or don't pursue a path like this because they see that it's going to be very uncomfortable. And when you're out of your comfort zone, that's where the magic happens. Yep. Comfortable with being uncomfortable. That was beautiful. Yep. I thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate it.